Boomer admitted to me that I have to work harder than they did. Last week I ran into a friend, M65, of my, M26, parents. We chatted for a while, and he asked how work was going. I explained that I finished graduate school and have a salaried corporate job. And while it is a lot of work, it could be worse and at least pays the bills. He asked, how much do you typically work? 40 hours a week? I laughed and said, as polite as a pilgrim. Well, no, I don't know anyone in my industry who does. I usually work 85 then answer emails for an hour after dinner. I also work two Saturdays a month. He said, holy smokes. My kids have to do the same. They really work you guys too hard. I told him he was right and that the 40-hour work week was dead if it ever existed. He said it was certainly real. And he was just glad he got his pension and got out when he did. What a weird day. Stop looking at your work mail outside working hours. You'll feel a lot better. I love skating this fence with my mom. Spent the last several years working 67 days a week as she said she once went a month without a day. Off. I pointed out she had 100% covered medical could afford a house, a boat, the family, and some vacations and my dad going to college. She pointed out she didn't pay for my dad's college. His work did. Something we don't have now without a lot of strings attached. Now that I have a new job that lets me do some remote work. I take full advantage by hitting up the grocery store, cleaning on lunch break and setting up my computer outside so I can enjoy some sun. Still can't afford the house, boat, or family, but I'll take everything I can get. It was refreshing to hear something similar from my mom. She seems to have finally recognized the difference in difficulty between my generation and hers in terms of basically every part of day-to-day -day life. Her brothers and my father are the main group in my family that still think my generation is spoiled. They still think walking in and giving a firm handshake is the way you get a job. It wasn't until I had my mom follow me onto a job site, try every tip she and my uncles had given me, and almost getting arrested before she realized things have changed since the 50s and 60s. Sure, my grandfather, he was born in the 20s, admitted to me when I was starting my career that I had it harder than them. Costs are up faster than wages, and worker protection like unions is way down. My wife's grandfather raised a family and purchased a house and took multi-week vacations every year. Seven weeks at his retirement. On his single salary as a butcher for a grocery chain. That is no longer an option. Most of the positives you mention. 40 hours work weeks. Pension. Were consequences of unionization. Many of the suggestions in the threads above argue that your individual actions not answering email outside work hours will change things in your favor but they may just end up with you labeled as a problem and being laid off or slow tracked in your career the function of unions is to provide a power base that's at least as strong as that of management by providing strength in numbers so the company's demands can be negotiated this seems to be a missing element in today's workforce I'm a boomer, and I admit this, too, things are a lot tougher for my kids than when I was their age. Fellow boomers need to realize that this is not a false alert. And it's not a drill. Younger generations are screwed under current conditions. Everybody says, the old 95? Quote dot, I have never worked in a professional environment that it wasn't 85. Never. I would love to do 95. Boomers know what they did to their kids by pulling the ladder up after themselves. Every now and then my boomer relatives will bitch about young people not wanting to work. And I just tell them that there's no way for millennials or Gen Z to win at the basics in life. Things like owning a house, 
owning a new car, being able to support a spouse, and being able to enjoy things like vacations just aren't possible for young people in this work environment. When I tell them this, they sort of grudgingly accept it. But then a week later they'll be complaining about it again. The 40 hours work week was real in theory for salaried workers. But that came with two 15 minute breaks and an hour lunch. Both were paid. Then it became two 15 and 30 minute lunch and finally one 15 minute and a 45 minute lunch. That did away with the afternoon break. Technically it was a 35 hour work week though you got paid for 40 hours. Now it's topsy turvy. I didn't bring work home and I didn't bring home to work. I don't know why that's weird. A lot of people my age, 64, know that younger folks have it way harder in almost every single way. It's just that we cannot do anything about it. There are certainly a lot of asshole boomers. I get that. There are also a lot of asshole people in every generation. We didn't choose when to be born just like you didn't. I am sorry your employer values your time so little. Also please reconsider checking emails after work. These boundaries between work and home start with the worker because the corporation sure as hell won't give it to you unless you just take it. Did you point out pensions are mostly a thing of the past? I take issue with the wording of this post and the title. It seems to assume that everyone that falls into X category, in this case Boomer, believes the same thing. So if you find one that doesn't then it qualifies as them, admitting, something. You don't get paid to look at email after hours. They want you to. It don't work for free. Make them pay you for your time. I'm 40 and my kids are already worked harder in school than I was. A nice boomer face holding back tears if only we could convert more. I'm a Gen Xer. We most certainly did not work 40 hour weeks. What did this boomer do previously? I have family members who at one point in time were CFOs. High up corporate lawyers data analysts and such. Working 40 a week at those big companies was considered part-time and would hold you back for promotions. I've had boomer co-workers make comments to me about how I work 8 hours a day and go home. Sorry you hate your life bro. But I work to make money and that's it. I would percent 1000 rather be at home with my wife and cat. Damn, and I taught 35 hours a week was too much. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.